Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you a unique way to utilize the ribbon chart to compare ranks of percentages. Now I had a client scenario where they had different percentages that they wanted to compare across categories. And as you can imagine, stacking percentages isn't really comparable, especially when they each have their own percentage that doesn't add up to 100%. So in this case, what I wanted to do, as you can see with the visual in front of you here, is I wanted to normalize the height of each of these ribbons inside of these stacked columns to be able to draw the attention to their specific rank instead of the actual quantitative size differences between them. So I want to show you how I built this both in the ribbon chart, the measure, and also the ability to still have those percentages showing as the data labels using a few different tools. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. Now to start with, let's discuss the actual output. So we have the ribbon chart here with a series of percentages in each of these stacked columns. And you'll notice that the height as well is also the exact same regardless of the percentage. The only difference being is the higher ones will get stacked to the top versus the bottom in terms of that ranking. We can actually see the percentage plus the division of the numerator and denominator. So it normalizes those percentages really just to draw the attention to the ranking with the actual value differences being in the tooltips for further analysis. So to start this conversation, let's first look at the ribbon rank that we have here. So I have DAX ribbon rank, selecting that measure here and opening this up. We actually have my percentage calculation. So that is the original percentage. And then what I do here is I calculate the rank of that percentage across the categories that I have here down in my legend. And that returns the ascending rank of the calculations that we have here. And now the final result is if there is an actual percentage, then it returns a one plus a division by a thousand of that rank calculation. So the equivalent being is 1.001 or two. So technically the actual values that are in here is like 1.001, 1.002, all the way up through these lists. But because the number of differences is so small from a quantitative perspective, they stack and look like that. And you also might wonder, why is there a percentage in here? So let me go ahead and turn on my filters pane, close this out. And I want to see right here, there's the ribbon percentage. I'm gonna close this for a second and just remove that filter. Technically now, there are those values that we have here that is the rank of all of these. So this is the actual number that's in the column, but I have a filter that is converting these into percentages besides just having the rank, which is needing to be used in the back end to create those. So what I'm also using in parallel with this is a calculation group that's over here that was created in tabular editor three. So we're also going to see how to make this. But to summarize that final output from this without the calculation group turned on, we do have those original numbers into here. And you can see even the differences if I was to say take the data labels and increase the decimal points out to four. There we go. You can see there's the seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, all the way down. And I specifically on my ribbon, if I open this up, there is the reverse stack order. So that's why the this one is on the top. So you do also very nicely have the option to flip those if you need to for the reversed order on the ribbon itself. So with those considerations in mind, the last thing that I'll mention is even with the calculation group turned on, we get the percentages here. I have yet to find a way to actually correctly get these to format as a percentage for that auto-generated tooltip that comes built in to the ribbon chart. So if anybody has any ideas for this, I would love to hear some input down in the comments below. But otherwise, let's go ahead and open Tabular Editor and see how I made that calculation group. With Tabular Editor open, I have in my tables, there's the calculation group that was made, and here's my ribbon percentage. Now, with the calculation group, you can not only specify what the calculation will be, you can change the format string. So selected measure, it's just simply returning the actual original calculation. But for the format string, we have an if statement in here that's checking through this. Now this is a formula lifted and shifted from some things that I've seen that Kane Schneider has done with calculation groups, especially using the double quotes for some advanced logic to essentially ensure for some backend operations that it correctly formats in all of the categories. I don't want to get too much into the details on this. Just know that this is a formula pattern that works specifically for doing format strings. If you're more curious about that, I will link you to the video that he did on a ton of things with calculation groups down in the links below or over on the right. But otherwise for this one, I'm basically taking and formatting a separate measure, which is my actual percentage. So it's checking to see on the page if there is the specific ribbon rank 
calculation being used on a visual, which in this case is anchoring it directly to that one that I have onto the ribbon chart there, it is going to format that percentage string as a solid percentage with no decimals. Otherwise, it's going to return the original selected measure string. So even if I apply this at the page level, it would anchor it to only the ribbon chart rank to then return that percentage as the data label. So closing back out of this, that is how we're able to apply this at the visual level to then reformat that. So we have managed to transform a ribbon chart into comparing the actual values to basically flattening it and normalizing it with equal sizing for all of those specific ribbons to compare the percentages, truly drawing the attention to the specific ranks between them instead of the percentages themselves. But I love continuing to get things like this, especially during development for clients. It's one of my favorite things about the job is doing a project like this and being able to have that idea where, hey, this might actually turn into a great video. So this was a fun way to design it. That one caveat that I'll again mention, the auto-generated tooltips between the ribbons for that additional analysis of the rank changes and everything still has the original number. I would love to hear any input if people have a solution of how to fix that. I tried looking at the query plan and couldn't quite figure out any other measures that were generated for there that I could then point my format string to. But otherwise, I think this is a great implementation overall. From a visual perspective, it looks great. And I really like the redesign of the ribbon chart to draw the attention to the rank rather than the core values below it. So hopefully this is something you find useful. If you have any suggestions, comments, or anything else, I always encourage you to drop that into the comments down below. If you like this video, check out some of our other stuff we have over here for the related content. And I always encourage you, please like and subscribe or share this video if you found it interesting. It helps our channel grow. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.